When this rower is fully assembled, this stabilizer should only touch the floor when it's in the storage mode. So here, this the rail's not installed, but this is the tube that connects to the rail, and it's in storage mode. So to do it into setup mode, I would pull this pin out. This pin comes out from the tube on the inside, and the hole on this plate, you'll see the tube right there rotating back. Now I would lay this flat, and then you'd see right here that there's a second tube that aligns with that hole. I'd come and put the pin through, and the rower should be flat and straight, the rail and this tube. Uh, this would be raised off the floor slightly, which is supposed to be like that, to make it so the rower is stable. If this was in contact, if all three points of the rower were in contact with the floor, you'd have a rocking motion. So this should be with a small gap. Another thing to look for is if you have this tube and rail raised off, off the floor, um, see if these holes are all in line. This is a bolt hole which has bolted in already. This is the hole for the locking pin for setup. And then these are the ones that bolt to the aluminum rail. They should all be straight. Look at your um, tubes and see if these holes are centered. If they're not centered, that could be a cause for the rail back here being raised off the floor. Or it could also just be that the holes on the aluminum rail were punched incorrectly. So those are allowing the rail to shift up 